In recent news, you probably heard about an ABC News poll share, showing Donald Trump with a nine-point lead over Joe Biden. Did you see that? Now, a lot of conservatives were celebrating over this, and and that was my initial uh, surprise. I was shocked by it, but as I thought about it a little more, I realized, oh, hang on a second, we're talking about ABC News and, and the Washington Post here. If Trump were actually polling that far ahead of Biden by almost 10 points, there is no way that they would actually report that. So there's two schools of thought here. First, that they're inflating Trump's numbers to push him towards the nomination because they think he can be beaten, or they're flubbing the numbers to ditch Biden. Now, there's a, a man, Dick Morris. He's a former advisor and a campaign manager to Bill Clinton. He had this analysis of the polling he told Newsmax over the past week. After working with him in the Clinton White House, if there is one Democrat I know inside and out, it is my former colleague, George Stephanopoulos. So Stephanopoulos is a former Clinton official as well, and, and now he's one of ABC's main anchors. So Morris goes on to say, the recent ABC Washington Post poll showing Trump nine points ahead of Biden bears all his fingerprints, meaning Stephanopoulos. After years of seeing polls deliberately skewed against Trump to discourage people from backing or donating to him, we now have the spectacle of a poll biased for Trump, likely designed to force Biden out of the race. Stephanopoulos would never have permitted ABC to go with a poll that shows Biden losing by 10 points unless he wanted to send a message to his party, dump Biden. Democrats had hoped that Trump indictments would hobble the GOP frontrunner, but instead they have energized his base, essentially eliminated, eliminated the Republican primary, and delivered the nomination to Trump. These indictments represent one of the greatest political blunders in our nation's history. Next, Morris went on to talk about other factors in the election, the economy, new voters, non-voters, and young voters, surveyed in the Washington Post ABC poll. He breaks down the information saying, the Democrats doubtless bet on a recovering economy to boost Biden's ratings. But the Post ABC poll found only 25%, 25% who rate the economy as excellent or good as opposed to 75% that rate it negatively. And then there are, there are the non-voters. Among those who said they did not vote in 2020, look at this, Trump leads Biden by 63 to 27. This means that Biden won't be saved by a higher voter turnout because the new voters would prefer Trump. Among voters under age 35, Trump leads Biden by 20 points a constituency the Democrat won in 2020 by overwhelming margins. Among non-whites, Biden's lead has dwindled to a mere nine points. So in summary, Morris wraps up his analysis of the polling saying, by releasing the ABC poll, Stephan Stephanopoulos is sending a message to his party that they can't run Biden and hope to beat Trump. So who would the Democrats run? There would be a food fight to replace Biden. Kamala Harris will quickly be shunted aside. Her ratings are even worse than Biden's. The progressive left will likely back either California Governor Gavin Newsom, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, or Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. The establishment center of the party will likely embrace Department of Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. And black voters will probably choose between New Jersey Senator Cory Booker and former Massachusetts Governor Duval Patrick. It's always possible Michelle Obama jumps in, but the tea leaves aren't pointing that way. And don't count Hillary Clinton out. Now, I don't know if I agree with all, all his predictions here, but the data is really, really interesting. A leading Democrat media member is sending a message to his party to dump Biden because he can't beat Trump. And this is based on the data from the actual polling. Trump keeps gaining support as the indictments keep coming in. P 
People are giving a terrible review of Biden's economy. Trump leads him by a massive margin in new voters and young voters, which is stunning to me. And Biden's lead over Trump is dwindling among people of color. As a Christian, there's nothing wrong. In fact, there is everything good about swearing allegiance to the American flag. Now, why is that? Because of the virtues for which the flag flies. It speaks to our providential founding and has been for nearly 200 years a symbol of freedom to those who seek it. Now, you can fly the American flag with pride from your front porch or out in the front yard. You can even hang one on a wall in the house, the garage, the office, or wherever you wish. I recommend that you get a flag that will last and withstand the weather throughout the seasonal changes of the year. So check out the supplies at Allegiance Flags. Check the link in the show notes or head over to wethefreeshow.com for more. Military and first responders get 10% off all orders.